Peace, y'all. Yeah. I see boys Zulu King Street, man. 407, man. <coughs> um, yeah, man. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop something today on uh, a doctor, right? The doctor's name, Doctor Cornelius Rhodes. For all my Puerto Ricans, my Puerto Rocks, my Boricua, lo que sea. This for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, this doctor was a serial killer, right? But he was only killing Puerto Ricans. Now, I'm not going to go into so much detail, so much, because I don't be remembering all the names and all that. I ain't going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? But all this, you can look up yourself. You feel me? Um, Dr. Cornelius Rhodes. So, Dr. Cornelius Rhodes was a doctor here in the United States that got sent to PR. So, he was in Puerto Rico. And, um, you know, he wrote back, he had wrote back to his people back in Massachusetts about Puerto Rico. And, um, he wrote in a letter, this letter was found by the Puerto Rican doctors, by the staff, by the hospital. They found this letter. He had left this letter out. He had wrote two letters, but the second letter was never found. It was found, but it was suppressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, they hid that. You know what I mean? The second letter, so nobody's ever seen it, but this first letter was found, and it became a big, uh, like, scrutiny, like a big thing going on, like a whole scandal of the whole situation. And in this letter, he wrote back home to his people, and he said that he liked Puerto Rico, that he loved Puerto Rico, uh, that it was beautiful in Puerto Rico, and all that type of stuff. You know, he liked the beaches or whatever may have you, the island and all that. He said he didn't like the people. He said the Puerto Ricans were stanky. You know what I'm saying? He said they was dirty. Uh, they were thieves. They were stealing. And um, he felt like the whole island needed to be, like, abolished. Like, the people needed to be uh, killed. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just take all the people out the island. So, in his letter that he wrote, he told his people that he, he's like, yo, I started doing that already. You feel me? So, he admitted to already starting killing Puerto Ricans in the island. And what he was doing was, some of the people would come and he would deny them help. You know what I'm saying? And just see what what what, what would happen to him. Because a lot of people in Puerto Rico at that time were anemic. You know what I'm saying? There was, there was anemic because of uh, uh, tapeworms and stuff like that. So they were suffering from being anemic. And he was sent over there to help with that. So what he did is deny people medical attention. Um, a lot of the other people, he was uh, injecting with cancer. You know, um, he ends up killing eight Puerto Ricans. You know what I'm saying? By injections and stuff like that. And uh, he said he killed eight of them in the letter. This is him admitting this. And he's, he's, he's injecting 13 other people with diseases. That he already started his path on killing these people on the island. So, um, ultimately, he, he, ultimately, he, uh, I can't even say the word, dog. So I roll my tongue, dog. He ends up leaving the island. You know what I mean? And he was in San Juan. He ends up leaving San Juan and he comes back to the States, right? And, um, you know, he starts doing medical uh, research out here and all that type of stuff. He's back in the medical field. He ends up being in the military. He ends up going in the army um, around World War II, I want to say, if, I, if I'm correct. Around World War II, he ends up going back to the army. He ends up being a, a, a colonel in the army. And they, end up getting, and they end up putting him in charge of, guess what? Chemical warfare. So... They got around 60,000 people that they're experimenting on chemical warfare. Most of them are all Puerto Ricans. So, you know, they make them wear gas masks and put them in gas chambers. And and um, they hit them with that mustard uh, stuff, that mustard agent and all that type of stuff. 
and um just to see how long it is before they die or anything like that or how their skin takes or the skin starts blistering and stuff like that a lot of the people end up they end up very sick they end up dying a lot of them some of them have uh, emphysema some of them you know they come out with all this stuff and during this uh during this situation that he was a colonel and messing with these mustard agents him and not only him, some other doctors find out that some of these mustard agents could be used to fight cancer. So when he when he gets out the army, he goes back into the medical field and starts uh you know his fight on cancer and ends up getting awards for this. This is what is he is remembered for. So the medical field gives him an award, right? The Cancer Institution, they give him an award and they name the award after him. And they give the award out for 23 years, they are given this award out. Before a Puerto Rican comes out, a Puerto Rican in the medical field, a doctor, I'm not, I, I can't tell you if it was a doctor, a nurse, I can't, I can't remember, recall, you know what I'm saying? I will have to reread everything. But you know, sometimes I'll be dropping some stuff on y'all that y'all don't be knowing about. Well, some of y'all do. A lot of y'all do know, but a lot of y'all don't. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, this for the ones that don't, for, you know, for the younger cats that don't know. So he ends up, um, getting that award and they end up, a Puerto Rican ends up saying, yo, do you know who this guy is? Do you know what he did in Puerto Rico? And he exposes everything that he did to them. So that award is no longer, a, that award it's no longer available and they don't give it out no more but it was they was giving it out for 23 years you know what i mean to a dude who was a serial killer killing the puerto rican people you know what i'm saying going against our people man there's a book called the war against puerto ricans i don't know if y'all read it man go check it out i don't got it with me you know what i'm saying um i do have the book but i don't got it with me but it's an old book, man. But um, if you went to the Puerto Rican history and the freedom fighters and the Puerto Rican nationalists, Lolita Lebron, Pedro Campos, El Ejército Popular, Borinqua, and all that, yo, go check it out. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah. So this is something a lot of people ain't know about this doctor. You know what I'm saying? That was killing Puerto Ricans. He went to the island and started killing the Puerto Ricans and injecting them with cancer and all that. Comes back to America, the cancer institution. After he got out of the military, the cancer institution gives him an award, and this award was passed around for 23 years before a Puerto Rican doctor comes out and says, hey man, this dude was killing my people in the islands, man, injecting them with cancer, uh, mistreating people. He was in the military testing uh, um, agents on, on, on 60,000 men, and most of them were all Puerto Ricans and all that, and um, they ended up taking that award away. His name was Dr. Cornelius Rose. Man, go check him out. You know what I'm saying? Go check him out, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, go check out the book, uh, the, the War Against All Puerto Ricans as well, man. You know what I mean? But y'all know every now and then I drop something on y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Drop a little jewelry, man. So this is the jewelry of the day. You know what I mean? It's your boy Zulu King Street Fame 407. Y'all know what it is. We all gas, no brace. If you ain't gonna be good, be safe. You heard?